Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the 2424 VP. I'm going to open the box and show you exactly what you can expect if you decide to purchase this camera from us in the future. There's a user manual. There's a bag with four mounting screws and a small Allen wrench, which we'll use in just a little bit. And here is the camera. This camera is at 420 TV line resolution. It has a 3.6 millimeter lens and a 1 3rd inch CCD. So it's going to give you an 80 degree viewing angle. This also has 24 pieces of infrared LEDs, which is going to give you up to 60 feet of night vision. Something special about this camera is that it's also a vandal proof camera. This camera features a 3 axis mountable bracket which means that you're going to be able to swivel the camera in whichever direction you need to be facing and mount it all within the same unibody. The installation of this camera is very simple and we're going to show you right now how to do this. Inside of the box you should have received a bag of screws and an allen wrench. You're going to need to take out this allen wrench. Once you've done that You'll find a little pin screw along the edge of the camera here. You're going to need to loosen it about three or four times before this center piece is free. Once you've done this, you'll notice that the center piece will actually come apart completely. The first step of the installation is to mount the bracket to the wall or ceiling where you want it. Notice that the cable runs through the bracket, making this vandal proof so that no one can snip the wire. As you can see here, the four holes in the bracket are used to screw to the ceiling or wall. After you've mounted this and screwed it to the ceiling or wall, you're going to take the camera and run the cables back through the bracket. You're then going to re-tighten the body back onto it. And make sure that the camera is facing the direction that you want it to be in. And that this second piece here is also fitted to the way that the lens is facing. Once that is completed, you're going to need to tighten this pin screw again before your installation is complete. It's going to take about three or four turns. And make sure it's tight. After you've done that, your installation is complete. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.